We know how much you love songs. We love them too. Oh so. man, we're about to get hot. We're getting a little hot in here. A little. Okay. Yeah. About, so. Oh boy, got a little Dear Wang coming up here. Scum pack. Okay. So Dear Wang, you know, I'm a bit of Wong, a simp. Yeah. A bit of a simp for her. She, uh, <laughs> you know, she's. Wow. Basically, what we can say is, whenever we po people post about Dear Wang in the subreddit. Mm -hmm. I think a good quote was, we hate everything she stands for, but by God, do we love her. They watch too many <laughs> movies. Right. Not me. Anyway, yeah. Um, Jesus. Dear Wong is like this new era of Chinese like uh, propaganda mm. where they take like a pretty girl and they make her do propaganda so that like simps kind of go after her, right? Absolutely. And they're like, oh, I never thought about it like that. And then all of a sudden they become like CCP simps. Yeah, it's not necessarily the most effective thing in the world, but we did find one that's actually really effective. Yeah, and it's yeah. actually quite terrifying. But what I found was when I was trolling around to see if she uh, put out another deer show, because yes. the CCP literally has her do something called the deer show, the deer show, yeah, where she does bizarre, re really weird parodies of like why China is good and why the US is bad. That's yeah. her focus. Usually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. She put out another one. This was on our Twitter. It was an ode to Cuba. To Cuba. And how like how Western governments are hypocritical for supporting Cuban democracy protesters. Yeah. And then like shitting on the Cuban government. And this is her love letter to like the Cuban government. So yeah, we have to play this for you because the, the lyrics themselves are just ridiculous. And it gets even better, trust me. So I'm gonna take us out of the picture. We're gonna play a little bit of this for you. We're going to have to stop it from time to time just so we don't get a copyright or whatever. Once somebody said, see, give the beta males in the chat simp content, bro. Well, that's what we're going to do. Yeah. All my Omicrons out there, get ready. All right, let's do it. President Biden is imposing new sanctions on the Cuban regime. There will be more or less or some drastic change in Cuba, which I don't anticipate. What? Let's love the karaoke. Yeah. I, I got to like, okay, why are they showing um, American Civil War black and white footage? You know why? Because it exists. Whereas Chinese history doesn't yeah. exist on film because yeah. it was all destroyed. Right. Just got to put it out there. I just, how bizarre is it to make like a love song, <laughs> to, like ode to Cuba? Yeah. I bet you she's never been she to Cuba. She doesn't know anything about Cuba. No. It's just because it's communist. You know, it's the yeah. last one of the last five countries. Yeah, they have exactly. to band together. Yeah, you know what? Vin Diesel knows more about Cuba than she does. Why? Because he did it like some Fast and Furious movie there. Did they actually shoot it there? I think so. Oh, okay. Yeah. Interesting. I guess they need as much money as they can get. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Biden-Harris administration stands by the Cuban people. Yeah. We lied, we cheated, we steal, stole. They love this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's such a boner for Biden. The they love Trump. Yeah. <laughs> Why? I don't understand these graphics they've chosen. Yeah. One more chance. <laughs> it's like her, like, I'm so sad for my poor Cuba. <laughs> like, what the hell is this? Before, by the way, before anyone's like, wow, this is actually quite a nice song. Um, oh, well, just wait. Yeah, it's it's little, just, yeah. just wait. You yeah. just cannot, you cannot think it's a nice song just yet. Um, I like how she says, Invader, I may be engraved. Okay, these lyrics are rubbish. Typical CCP, you got the thesaurus out. Yeah. You yeah. know, her English is good too. Like, there's no reason to have yeah, such absolutely. shit lyrics. Yeah, I know. Anyway, let's see. Maybe engraved, lost my conscience. Do you think I need my face? Mean. Do you think she needs her face? I think she might. She might need her face. Yeah, I think everyone needs their face. Imagine having a face. Something's really bugging me. I gotta get it out of my system. What? Don't spoil it. Don't spoil it. No, I'm just. Okay. I, I just. I think her eyes are a bit close together. I think that's. I mean, I, I'm saying that's that's. I'm not making fun of the way she looks. Just in my taste. Listen, 
in my taste. I'm Listen, I, I hate her message and I hate that she's shilling for the CCP, mm-hmm. but you do not insult <laughs> dear Juan. I'm not insulting it. It's just for my own taste. <laughs> anyway. That's all. You know, I'm a Sims, hard... All my Omicrons out there band together. Winston is wrong. All right. Sorry. Deliberately provocative. No, we'll never and I'll justify you. The mere mention of Pig Bay. <laughs> uh, she's obviously referring to the Bay of Pigs incident. Yes. But you don't say Pig Bay. I, there's two issues with this. You don't say Pig Bay. And <laughs> yes. number two, you don't know shit. Dear Wong, we love you, but you don't know what the hell happened at the Bay of Pigs. No. And I can promise you, even if you do, it doesn't make you irritate. No. <laughs> It certainly okay. doesn't. Okay, are we gonna get gonna get to the good part now? Oh my god. Okay, gosh. here's here's the good part. Hang on. Yeah. No will never write me my mistake. I am granted and right to win me. She's got a pretty nice voice. Sure. Make a fake this is my way. It's <laughs> so so bizarre to me. Yes. No one's making songs about it. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Soldier war. <laughs> Seems similar, right? Very interesting. Very interesting. It's mm-hmm. almost like... It's wow. almost like it was a Taiwanese song from 1995. In which it was. It was. Yeah. That's why, you know, we, we saw this thing about mention of Pig Bay, right? Mm-hmm. So you and I are sitting there. We're like, what is this garbage? What is this? I knew the song mention? when I was yeah, listening and to both, it. You were yeah, like, yeah. I know this. And I'm like, yeah, I'm pretty sure yeah. I know it too. Yeah. What is this song? It turns out we know it because it's always in the karaoke's in China. We hear it yeah, all the time. Yeah, it's a very famous Taiwanese song. It's a Taiwanese song yeah. from Taiwan. Yeah. So, I mean, first of all, it's, so it's a knockoff. It's not an original no, song, no. okay? which is a, a little bit of a strike against the propaganda there. But, I mean, if it was still a mainland Chinese song, you could be like, okay, they've repurposed it for mainland propaganda. Because it's a communist country, right? Yeah. It's like, it's oh, like, they own everything. Whatever. Yeah. But no, it's a stolen song from a Taiwanese artist. So yes. it's a Taiwan song. And that makes it even worse, because now it just makes her look like a thief. Yeah. Lazy. Everyone's asking for the original science. Jeff, it's Jeff Chang, and yeah. it's called Guo Huo. Yeah, Guo Huo. Yeah. Go look it up. It's a pretty good song, actually. Yeah, it's a great song. Um, so the fact of the matter is, it just it's completely destroyed the propaganda message that she knocked off a Taiwanese song. I, to be honest, I don't even know what the hell the propaganda message is there. It's like it's, USA bad. Yeah, USA bad. Cuba. Cuba. It, it's more about yeah. USA bad. But the Cubans were the ones protesting against the Cuban government. This love letter song she's written, or the CCP has dedicated, is the, against the Cuban people. I know. It's like, we support your dictatorship. Shut the hell up, Cuban protesters. The U.S. Oops. I, yeah. I mean, I don't even get this. It's, it's bizarre. It's yeah. like one of those lost in translation things. It's like, they got the memo. They're like, dear Wong, you're like the music girl, right? Yeah. You're going to need to make a song about why the Cuban dictatorship is good and America's bad. You know what? It, it really makes me irritate. It does. Let's play that part again. You want to make the irritate? I want to hear the big bit. Yeah, you're okay. a big, big bit. All right. Okay. Let's get that part then. Makes me irritate at the mission of Pig Bay. I love, I love it. So she, I love it. she gets irritated at the mention of Pig Bay, I got to say. Right. Interesting. Anyway, once again... Chinese propaganda through song failing very badly, especially since they stole a Taiwanese song. Taiwan number one, by the way. See how good Taiwan is that even the communist propaganda has to steal Taiwanese music? Taiwan number one. Taiwan's always number one. Yeah. Taiwan yeah. And it will always be number one. Yes. It's pretty sad that they have especially to make communist propaganda. Especially on the top, top of the charts yeah. in China. <laughs> Seriously. Yeah. They have, to, they have to use Taiwanese music to make commie propaganda. It's ridiculous. I love it. I yeah. love it. Exposed. <laughs> Dear anyway. Wong, we love you. But yeah, you got to choose you, better you, songs. You love her. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Dear Wong. I just so, feel like she's got, a, she's got a chance to turn around. Yeah. Her heart's in the right place. Uh, sure. A little interesting trivia about her, actually. When oh, I'm yeah? Doing a little sure. Recon. Um, 
she wasn't in this whole this whole uh, propaganda game. Sure. And this is something we've been seeing alarmingly happening fast is mm-hmm. that people that are if people are getting hoovered up into the the propaganda system. Sure. Cuz what happens is she's she's just a high school English teacher, right? Mm-hmm. In in China and then also she's a like a cover song artist, right? Sure. She's got a good voice. So then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, she cuz she's posting stuff online, all of a sudden bam, she's on Xinhua, right? Yes. Out of absolute nowhere. And that's what China does. They scoop all these people up and they're like, "Well, you can do yeah. your dreams that you failed at before." It's it's more than more than that now because yeah. the way they're clamping down on influencers in yeah. China, it's you either kind of have to do this and be of service to the Communist Party yeah, of China, yeah. or you kind of have to shut up and stop what you do. That's why with her and China and stuff, we've never really gone too yeah. too much. No, I don't want to be them. too harsh. Not like Guli. That's a different no. That's story. completely that, different. That's, that's when like, you've gone all the way down. The, the, at the same time, though, yeah, like, yeah. Why are we not harsh? It's just because you're simping, basically. Because mm. if it was a guy doing the same thing, I mean, I wasn't simping for China. And I didn't go after her. No, it's funny. No, it's funny. To be fair, maybe because Dear Wong actually can sing. <laughs> oh, ouch. So, so ouch. Ouch. Anyway, Sina's, I think you've got to bring in a little bit of a cotton in there just to kind of remind you of the actual beauty of her Absolutely. voice. Absolutely. Anyway, you know, here's the thing. Guys, this is what we're seeing more and more. Anyone who's an influencer in China that's at least a part of Western social media absolutely has to be co-opted by the CCP. There's no other choice because if you're now putting things out to the Western world and you're not controlled, censored, or at least guided by the CCP, you can get into some massive trouble very, yeah. very easily. We so, shouldn't be too harsh on them or else they'll get irritated. Yeah, they'll get <laughs> irritated. Well, you know what? I'm not going to mention Pig Bay. Don't ever mention <laughs> Pig Bay. The- wow, that was brutal. Man. This is China's current embarrassment. <laughs> <laughs> the issue though is the Chengguan are, are vicious. They, they are thugs. They are. China hates the poor. Yes. And the government shits on the poor left and right. It just <laughs> sets them on fire. <laughs> Destroying people's <laughs> yeah, livelihoods. livelihoods. Yeah. Kicking women. Kicking old women, yeah. <laughs> it's kind of unsafe. <laughs> Ocean, not a bird. Yeah, that's pretty unsafe if you ask me. Look at that junk. Oh, and they see someone's recording. Yeah. Right? <laughs> and the Chungguan sees the camera. It's all yeah. over. Yeah, look. Yeah, they see the Chungguan coming and they do. It's like, I'm out of here. <laughs> probably, wow, so good. It probably is, isn't it? Wow, so good. <laughs> <laughs> Take a breath, you fill up my lungs